Hi everybody, I am Laura and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new, which is pretty much everybody, um, this is Confident Notions. So I tend to do a lot of unboxing hauls, um, a lot of Dollar Tree videos recently. As a matter of fact, here's another one coming up, right? But I've got a lot of like unboxing hauls um, for a couple of subscription boxes, I've been to Dollar Tree recently, working on some DIY kind of stuff. So all good things. So if you like that kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. That would be super awesome. So like I alluded to, I've got a crap ton of Dollar Tree hauls to have. Like it's really, my ears been bothering me. Like it's been a little itchy on the inside. Anyways, um, I bought that stuff off of Amazon that like ear wax clean your outer stuff because I was convinced that like I wasn't getting like that there's just earwax in there and there was nothing like I put the stuff in it foamed up and nothing came out like nothing and so I'm like okay either this doesn't work or my ears are clean and I don't know which is which but anyways if you see me going like this and then looking at it. no don't look okay that's nasty that's nasty anyways so I've got a lot of <laughs> Dollar Tree haul videos to do so I had like a couple of bags like I went twice I think over the last week picked up some stuff and it rode around in the back of my car and then I went the other day no on Friday I went on Friday last week on the way home from work and I they had so much like so many kids toys like I couldn't even like comprehend how much kids stuff they had like so much to the point when I checked out the lady was like oh there are gonna be some really happy kids for Easter and I'm like it's just one just one anyways so let's get in i'm gonna try to do the oldest stuff first and this is gonna be several videos so if you see me in the same shirt a couple of times just kind of roll with it and know that um i had a lot of crap to haul it's gonna be hard for me though because i'm not gonna remember which is which anyways let's get into the first haul i had this one here you might recognize a dollar tree bag from earlier this year uh so this is going to be as much of a surprise for me as it is for you because I don't remember what is in here. So let's take out this first bag. This might be actually the first one. So first thing we got here. Oh, okay. So I finally found this. What is this? Zoops. Zoops. Velocis y divertiosos animales. There you go. That's eight years of Spanish for you right there. So... I don't know what the heck thing these things do, but I saw a ton of people hauling these and they were like, oh, these are really great and the kids are into these. And I'm like, I don't know what the youths are into today. Um, but this is, it's got batteries. It looks like a little, I don't know, bear corn on, on a thing. Anyways, I only found one of these on that particular trip and there was none left there like this thing was sitting there like off to the side and in a weird place and I thought I've seen people haul these and they seem to be interesting so I'm gonna pick one up um my daughter is gonna turn three in May and the thing is her classroom at daycare there's a bunch of kids there with like April May birthdays like there's a whole clump of them who are going to move up to the next class at the same time and we're probably going to be invited to a crap ton of birthdays so when you see all of the kids stuff that I'm hauling I want you to know she's not getting all of it I'm gonna put some of it away this is mainly for my husband if he happens to watch these videos she's not getting all of these things I'm gonna put some in the closet we're gonna save them because there's gonna be some there's gonna be some birthday parties we're gonna have to go to so I thought this was cute I don't know what it does it says it's a wacky zooming animal I don't know what that means but we got one right is a dollar let's see what else we got in here <coughs> oh these knives I have seen people going on and on and on about these Dollar Tree knives and I went and they had I got two of them I think that's all I got just two so I got this the turquoise one and the purple one and these are Greenbrier brand just a cooking concepts knife I like that it's got this little um this little plasticky thing on it I mean who can all, like you can always use a knife like let's be realistic you need a knife it's hard to find something to chop you're grabbing a knife it's not the right knife so if these are any good that would be awesome and honestly though I might take one of these to work and just keep it in my drawer because I used to have like a work knife that was really handy for like cutting apples or food cutting food it worked great and 
I think when I moved to this job, I didn't bring my knife with me. I don't know where it went. So I might actually take one of these to work instead. And the good thing is like they're zip tied together. So, you know, people can't like take it off and cut each other in the middle Dollar Tree. So I don't know, we'll see how those work. I heard good things, right? I also bought two more packs of these, these Huggies Simply Clear White. These ones here. So these are big, like, you get, what do you get in here? You get 40 wipes in here, fragrance free. And these are like the big ones. These are not like the baby butt wipes that you see or that like I have a crap ton of. But anyways, I really like these smaller ones. I keep a pack in my purse, the smaller packs like this. I have a bunch of like baby wipes in my garage, but like the much bigger packages. But I keep these in my, I keep a pack like this in my purse and one in the car because inevitably you got to wash off a face. There's sticky fingers, there's drool, something falling out of her mouth or snot somewhere. And I really like having these handy for that. Um, but these are big, like these are really big, like so much bigger than the ones that you normally get and they're huggies. So I picked up two of those. Let's see what else. Oh, two clips. Who can't, I mean, look, you know, use some chip clips, right? I was looking through, we have like, I was looking in like our chip closet and there are like four or five bags that are all like clipped together with one chip clip. I thought, you know, we're better than this. Like we can go to the Dollar Tree and get some chip clips for a dollar and not have to put all the chips together on one bag, right? So chip clips. Let's see what else do we get in here. I got, oh, I finally found these. Uh, finally was some of the Yes to masks. So this is a yin and yang double masking kit. And according to this, it's like a detox and hydrate. So there's a white mud mask and a black mud mask. And I wanted to wait until after. So like you'll see in the other, like in my previous videos, I talked about how I was gonna go get a facial for, it was like, a Christmas present. Anyways, I will tell you, I mean, that's another saga for another day, but I will just tell you that I was talked into a chemical peel and I have regrets. I had deep regrets. I mean, my face looks fine now, but like you'll see in like the other videos, like how red and like shiny my face was. And let me tell you, like all my face peeled off, my entire face peeled off, top layer of skin peeled off and it freaked me the fuck out. And I was not a big fan of that. I mean, it looked good underneath, except for like this pimple that I got now. So, I mean, like when it came out, like my skin was much nicer. It was like the bumps were gone. Like everything was cleared out. So it did what it was supposed to do. I just didn't know that my entire face was going to peel off. Anyways, so. I was like, I'm going to need a mask eventually. So this is Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin. So I picked up one of those. I'm starting to see more and more of those out in the Dollar Tree. I have, like my Dollar Tree has not had any of those like ever. And I'm starting to see them pick up more and more. What else? Ooh, I did get, you know, let's see this, this folding brush with a mirror. I, I swear, like I had one of these. In high school like college or something like that so I really like the idea of this just to have I think I'm gonna keep this like in the console in my car yeah I keep talking about like this bottom console in my car but I'll be honest it's pretty big so it's got the mirror in it and then this hairbrush thingy pops out so I like having like a close-up mirror because you can like look at stuff or make sure there's nothing stuck in your teeth and just a quick hairbrush in there Fantastic. So I'm gonna put that in the console of my car. Mr. Trash Can. Anyways, what else? I picked up these, which I thought were adorable. They are hair ties, so they've got the elastic piece on it, and then this fuzzy pom pom. If you look at that, and this one is like black and white. Uh, stinking adorable. So I picked up both of these. <sighs> So next week at school, I guess it's like world, like US wide or whatever, but it's like Dr. Seuss reading something or other week. And so schools all across the country are doing various things. And in preschool, they happen to be having a, I don't know what the hell it is. It's spirit week, right? So for spirit week, 
we got some spirit stuff to do. One of those days is Wacky Hair Day. So I didn't know that when I bought these, but I think these are gonna go really well for Wacky Hair Day, right? We can do some with the hair, we get these doodads in it and it'll be super cute. Even so, she actually like let me put a bow in her hair today, which is, you know, you know, stop the presses. So I did pick up two of those for that. So maybe she'll actually let me start doing her hair. Oh, baby. baby. Speaking of doing her hair, look how cute is this? Oh my God. Would you look at this thing? It is a pug hair bow. Do you see that? They're just so stinking cute. Now I'll be honest, this is a little big for her head. And when I look at the, the clip itself, like this clip is big, it's big. It's not for a three-year-old, but would you look at how stinking cute that is? Yeah, it's got like this, like her, like half of her head is not that big. Maybe I'll take it off of here. Maybe I'll just take this off. Is this just glued on? Oh, I can probably get that. No, I don't want to take that off. I think the bow itself is held on with this little black bandy thing. Anyways, super stinking cute, right? So, got her a doggy bow. Oh yeah, this is not tied. So got her that doggy bow, which is adorable. And then I also did finally see like the milk and cookies notepads. I don't know why there are some things at Dollar Tree that I'm absolutely obsessed with purchasing. One of them are reusable bags. Can't stop, can't stop buying reusable bags. Don't know why, don't ever use the ones that I have, but I can't stop buying them. So reusable bags from Dollar Tree and these notepads. I cannot stop purchasing these notepads. I use them, like I totally use them, unlike the reusable bags. I totally use like the notepads here. So I will add this to my collection of Dollar Tree notepads. The last thing, my bags are in here. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of stuff in here. Here, we'll just, we'll do some. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple more things out of here. So the next thing I did purchase was this felt craft bunny, adorable. I think we did the gingerbread one last year. And the thing that I liked about this guy is it's just felt. So you just like punch out the felt stuff. It's already pre-punched and you don't have to like glue it. You don't have to sew it. All you have to do is like stick it on there and she don't put it in the right place, right? But that's fine because she's three, right? So this is a cool activity for a child. And I've said this time and time again, but look, a lot of the stuff I buy at the Dollar Tree for like kids activities, let's be real, it's gonna last them about five minutes. But that is, but you can stretch that. You can stretch that five minutes to like 15 with the build up. like, oh, we're gonna do a project. Mommy's gonna go get you something. You wanna get something new. We can go to the craft project and get it. And like the whole act of going to get it and then the opening and then the doing, you can like you distraction for a good 15 minutes there. And that 15 minutes folks is well worth a dollar well worth it all right what else Ooh. oh okay i'll do this first so i picked up one of these frames i do have i'll be honest like these frames are shit like they're just they're just shit frames um they i bought some of these before and even when i was like taking off the plastic and they broke um and they totally fell apart but i do have a picture over here that's like a drawing of my dog and i was like well it matches this frame we're gonna give this a dollar go and if it breaks i will not be surprised but if it doesn't go us right um next to the last thing i got here i thought this was really cute this is an old mcdonald had a farm sticker book and in here it has all of these like animal stickers I think that is like there's a lot of stickers that is a lot of stickers in here and so it's the whole song so she can color she can color in the pages she can sing along to it she loves her some old mcdonald and then there's stickers that she can put on the pages this is a good 20 minutes here. Good, easy, easy 20 minutes here. So we've got coloring and we've got stickers and we got some old McDonald, right? Last thing in this bag. <sighs> Last thing. It is well known that I love my sunglasses. 
I do have several expensive pairs of sunglasses that I have purchased and I'll be honest like it's not like I have multiple pairs and I just have like this big pile of like expensive sunglasses that I don't use or something like that like I wear them I wear them for years and then they get scuffed up or whatever and then I or they get like stretched out on my head and I get a new pair right and the reason why I have not been able to find like decent sunglasses at like target or like regular stores or whatever is because they are not dark enough for me and i have super light sensitive eyes and they were always light sensitive even when i was a kid they were light sensitive when i had glasses when i had contacts and then after i got lasix like 11 years ago they became even more light sensitive and it's not a big deal but what it does mean is you will see me in sunglasses most of the time if i am outdoors and it is not the dead of night i will be wearing sunglasses so i had seen some other folks haul the sunglasses at the dollar tree and i'm like whatever let me tell you these sunglasses are dark like these are dark ass sunglasses and they're cute like would you look at that these are some adorable like dark glasses so i got there might be more in here i don't believe that i just got these pairs so i got these gray ones right i got these like brownie ones so cute i bought and i bought these like ready pink ones also i love these like i love this shape on here like this like subtle cat's eye shape love 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 and i bought those ones and then i bought morgan these ones too these pink ones and they're really they've got a, like a green um the green arms on the back of them anyways these things are like so worth a dollar they're like they're worth a lot more than a dollar but these are so worth the dollar so i'm gonna keep these in my car i might keep a pair or two like in my purse i, I i'm pretty sure i bought five pairs somewhere anyways but I also like these for the pool or for the beach, right? Because I don't want to wear my expensive sunglasses to the, to the pool. Because when I go in the pool, I need to wear sunglasses because it's daytime and I'm outside and there's sun. So I like literally cannot see in the sun without sunglasses. So I would much rather have like Dollar Tree sunglasses that I can throw into our pool bag, into our beach bag or whatever, and take these and not have to worry about like messing up my expensive sunglasses. And if I leave them at the pool, if I leave them at the beach or they fall off my head or they break or whatever, they're a dollar. So these things are going pretty fast. I'll be honest, like when I bought these like a week and a half ago they had a good number of them and when i was there the other day like they are it is low these are these are low so go get you some dollar tree sunglasses because these things are amazing all right that's all for this dollar tree haul i'm gonna make some more because i got a lot of bags here so anyways i hope you like that i hope you like dollar tree haul videos because there's gonna be more of them right so <laughs> That's all I've got for now. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you later. Bye.